uh, the uh, trading platform here and I use two main models well I use two uh, two uh, more than two models in reality but uh, in this uh, in this show I, I actually show two models a smart money model and a dumb money model and as you know uh, and those of you who know me uh, also know that I like to look at the market starting from a very large time frame uh, where we can actually see what is the main trend where the market is going so um, for our concern the, the move that we are seeing uh, recently uh, of course uh, a lot of people will invoke or would invoke would invoke the um, uh, the Brexit. The reality is that uh, the the way smart money was positioned in this market was already uh, well uh, understood and known well before this market actually, um, well before this market went through the Brexit. And I'll show you how technical this market has been before and through the Brexit as well. When I say technical, uh, I mean uh, that this market um, respects models uh, that we use to model the activity of smart money, particularly the activity of algorithms. And and we had this uh, measure move here, which we, even if we identified it after the fact that that first test in 2009 here, this area came into play again, basically five years later. And uh, price found a resistance around 169.60 area here. And with that resistance, we also had a, um, we also had a target that I'm going to show you here. Uh, and that's the target in 119.07. Now, uh, smart money in a very, very large time frame. Uh, they are actually um, targeting, trying to target that level. If the level seems extreme to you, um, you know, you should just look at the 25, uh, the 23,000, sorry, 2300 um, pips here. This market has uh, lost in a uh, few months here since the Brexit event, okay? But the uh, technical character of this market does not end uh, at, uh, the, uh, at this uh, very large time frame. In fact, this market has been very, very technical, not only on the monthly time frame, but also on the weekly time frame, as you can see here. This market found participation at 59.89, and then it continued lower, uh, into what into that first target, uh, and we should not be surprised that this market has found participation at uh, at that uh, target, the one thirty nine thirty two here. This was well before the Brexit um, the Brexit event. What I like about this market, and the reason why I say that is very technical market, is that in one day, the day of um, the Brexit, we saw this market trading the same day, trading the next measure move, so the next setup short here, which was identified by the area starting at 148.85 uh and uh up to 151.31 uh, and as you can see price stayed into this area this 1.0 percent level was um was never breached and look at what happened in one day the market uh the market uh, actually set up at 148 uh in the 149 area here and then went in one day into its first target Okay, and this is pretty unique. In fact, uh, I can say that this is the first time in uh, since I trade that I that I saw this kind of behavior. Uh, the point is that the market has not stopped there this time. It's not retraced another fifty percent, but has went well below that first target, and it's pointing into one twenty five. Uh, 53 and that's the reason why the title of uh, this review it's. Uh, pound targeting 125.70. Uh, the reason it's exactly this one. It's targeting uh, a level uh, which is just above this uh, second target here. And that's the reason why we are seeing this market continuing lower. You also have to keep in mind 
that in the, on the larger time frame, there are monthly participants, smart money, who is interested, who are interested actually in uh, keep pushing this price lower into the 119.07. So really reaching the second target 125.70 would be a, a way to help, a way the lower time frames are helping this price into a larger uh, target. Okay, so you should not be surprised to see the market at 125.70. In fact, if you are short, you should still uh, keep your shorts. There's no reason to to uh, to buy back at this stage, and um, I suggest uh, at least you partially buy back at 125.70 uh, or 50, uh, because this market on the smaller time frame uh, or, or I would say weekly time frame has the potential to retrace. Okay, and so. That retrace though will not come until we're going to see 125, 70, 125.50 here. And if we get to the second target, and let's say we touch it to the pip, whatever whatever low we we, we trace here, uh, I would uh, I would maintain that this market can actually um, see some profit taking and go back to the 131.90, 131 area before continuing lower into 119. Okay, so this is my view on this market, on this very, very large time frame. When we look at how Dabman is actually playing this market, it's pretty interesting because uh, because what we see here, we saw uh, participation from uh, dump money within that area where uh, we also had smart money. Actually, dump money started selling this market at 157.35, but um, I think we we uh, we know that, um, you know, that, that, that this, the size of the move will only come when smart money will have the highest volume to sell this market. And that happened at 158. 77 here. That's when that decisive move uh, started. And again, the market was brought higher due to intervention of uh, that money on the smaller time frame until the, ma the market went again into that uh, short value area of um, of um, the uh, dump money here, which now was aligned with participation of smart money. And that that's what has uh, allowed this market to keep moving lower. Interestingly enough, uh, smart money, uh, monthly smart money uh, came in to sell this market uh, the day of the Brexit. And again, weekly smart money came in, uh, sorry, uh, dub money came in again to send this market lower, uh, but in alignment with um, with the um, setup of uh, dump and smart money that we saw we saw on uh, on the day of Brexit. And this is a commitment that shows committed both of smart money and that money in selling this market. And when you have this kind of alignment, obviously the uh, probability that the market will continue lower is higher. So what comes next in this market? How, how are we going to tackle this market to, to try to profit from this market? If you're short, you should, you should, you should stay short. But not, as I mentioned before, below 125.70. That's my uh, suggestion there. And this is not a recommendation. This information is provided for educational purposes only. And just to show you how these models are uh, indeed capable of capturing something which is uh, fundamental about how the market behaves. And, uh, but obviously, you know, uh, if you, um, if you so you can use these models to try to uh, take decision of course this management is again uh, treated job job number number one and for example when i have these areas of smart money when i participate for example in this case i did not participate and the reason for that is it was uh, 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 it was a news day so news day uh, the market uh, can actually, uh, participation in the market can actually temporarily, uh, um, temporarily um, bring uh, the market uh, in a situation where algos are not, are not capable of um, handling the volume. So this market could have been 
uh, uh, debt move higher. However, once we saw that it's told here, then there were other techniques like the FIP stalking timing that can be used in order to, um, to actually time the entry in this market. However, I never participate during news, and that's a rule I have. Um, and uh, and I don't think it's needed uh, because uh, when the market is calm, we'll just follow dump and smart money. So how do we toggle this market? This market, as mentioned before, is actually um, uh, it's actually it's looking for a target, uh, which is a target below here. And that's the 125.50 area, 70 area here. So until the market gets uh, there, uh, this is a short uh, position. Once the market got there, I'm going to look for a reaction. And as the direction of this market is still down, I'm not going to buy the reaction. Just want to see price moving into an area that could be 132, 131, 132, and that would be again a weekly, um, uh, a weekly um, a dump short value area, and that's what I, where I would be interested in selling this market. Um, on a smaller time frame, you can try to uh, buy this market only, um, you know, after the second target has been hit. It's a weak signal. I consider that a weak signal. The market could just continue lower. So I'm looking for a retrace into an area where I can have a number of participants, strong participants that can keep pushing this price lower. Okay. And the final target against 119.50. That's the area. Okay. So this concludes the uh, review of the pound versus the uh, US dollar. Again, target 125. 70.